Welcome back to ETV. I'm Michael Tellick. And I'm Jess Coons, and this is your weekly news update. Edinburgh University and WQON Public Media are collaborating to host a screening of the PBS frontline documentary, League of Denial, the NFL Concussion Crisis, a panel, and a panel discussion that focuses on the issue of sport-related concussions at 7 p.m. on Wednesday in room 107A of Compton Hall. The program is free and open to the public. Immediately following the, pro, the screening, a panel of experts and former players will reflect on the documentary and engage in a general dialogue on concussions in athletics. Definition Dance Team and Exclusive Step Team will be hosting a Halloween fundraiser for the Susan G. Komen Foundation in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Both teams will perform and refreshments will be served. Half of the proceeds will go to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. The event will take place on Sunday, October 27th from 8.30 to 11.30 p.m. in the Student Center Multipurpose Room. Family Weekend starts this Friday, October 25th. The weekend's events, events include Coffee with the President, movies, art auctions, fun zones, and a planetarium show, and more. For more information, search Family Weekend on the Edinburgh homepage. And the homecoming annual faculty show takes place this week at Bruce Gallery. This program includes artwork from 35 faculty members. The gallery is open from 12 to 7 Monday through Thursday and 12 to 5 Friday and Saturday. The exhibit will be displayed through the end of the month. In celebration of Archaeology Month and the Anthropological Research Center will host a hands-on workshop on Thursday, October 24th. There will be flint napping, weaving, and felt making, and more. Stop by Hendricks Hall on, in, in room 127 from 1 to 4.30 p.m. to check it out. Be sure to stay tuned because coming up we have entertainment, global news, followed by weather and sports. sex don't give up on birth control either there are more methods than you think find yours at bedsider.org welcome to entertainment news i'm sierra smith for all of you who watch laguna beach and we're still holding out hope that lauren would still choose steven i'm sorry to say that dream has come to an end lauren conrad was proposed to by her boyfriend william tell conrad posted the exciting news last weekend on her blog stating that she is beyond thrilled about her engagement if you were addicted to Netflix's original series, Orange is the New Black, like I was, then I'm glad to let you know that they will be creating another new original series in the near future. Netflix and Sony teamed up with the creators of the show, Damages, to create this brand new original series. They hope for the series to air early next year, so make sure to keep a lookout for it. Have you been looking for something fun to do on the weekend? Wishing you could go to New York for a day trip with your friends? Well, don't worry. Avenue Q is being performed at, on Edinburgh's campus October 23rd through the 27th at 7.30 p.m. and at 2.30 on Sunday in Diebold Center of Performing Arts. This adult-themed spoof of Sesame Street will guarantee to get the audience laughing out of their seats. And the best part is, Edinburgh University students have free admission to this performance. So go make sure you check out this amazing event. Stay tuned because coming up we have global news followed by weather and sports. Sun, you'll hear me 
Stop acting like it's no big deal. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. I'm Jeff Snyder, and here is your global news update. Two people are dead and two students are in critical condition after a shooting at a middle school in northern Nevada on Monday. A witness said a student shot a teacher. The perpetrator of the shooting is said to have been killed as well. School shootings and gun violence have been a hot-button topic since the Sandy Hook Elementary Massacre in Connecticut in December 2012. Details are still scarce about what happened, but the shooting has yet again sparked discussion on safety in our schools. President Obama is very upset over the problems with the new government health care website. Healthcare.gov is the website where 48 million Americans that don't have health insurance can go and sign up for government mandated health care. However, login problems and numerous other issues are preventing those in need from signing up. Americans who do not have health care by January 1st will face tax penalties. President Obama said today that nobody was angrier than him about the faulty website and says that top technology experts will be working to solve the issue as soon as possible. Stay tuned because coming up is weather followed by sports. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. And welcome back, everyone. I'm Dorian Chern, Chief Weather Forecaster. So let's take a look at the week's weather forecast. And I hope you guys enjoy Monday because this week, yeah, you'll see it. On Monday, we start off with partly sunny skies with some few clouds, high 61 with a low of 40 degrees. But after a cold front goes by later Monday night, we'll have sunny skies with a few clouds, but yeah. 45 degrees with a low of 35 degrees. And on Wednesday, hump day, everybody, rain showers in the area, highs 40 degrees with a low of 31. But what's this? Snow showers in late October? Uh-oh. Yeah, we got a few snow showers in the area with highs of 35. Oh, yeah, that's jacket weather right there. Highs 35 with a low of 32 degrees. On Friday, last day of the school week, 
we will transition out of the snow in some rain showers, but I still think there might be some mix going on. But either way, we're, we're, we're sucking this cold temperature as everyone highs 40 degrees with a low of 31 degrees. On Saturday, we'll recover a little bit. We'll have mostly cloudy skies with a few rays of sunshine, highs 43 with a low of 36 degrees. And on Sunday, the beginning of a new week, Rain showers likely in the Edinburgh areas, highs 44 with a low of 34 degrees. So, yeah, it's one of them weeks. Just make sure you have your hoodies and your jackets ready to go. And that segues into our today's trivial question. Blizzards feature low temperatures, strong winds, and heavy blank. A, rain, B, snow, C, sleet. Uh, this is a pretty easy question. And say sure your question answer is B, snow. Yes, when you have all three of those ingredients, you get a blizzard. But fortunately, we're not going to have any of those blizzards anytime soon yet. Well, after these commercial breaks, please join us back here with sports. Did you check? Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Welcome back to ETV. I'm Brian Dybel here with your Fighting Scott Sports Update. Football traveled down to IEP this past weekend to take on the Crimson Hawks. The Fighting Scots had impressive performance on both sides of the ball, helping them to pull off the upside against the 22nd ranked Crimson Hawks with a 36-30 victory. Redshirt freshman John Gervin threw for 262 yards and three TDs to help lead the Fighting Scots past IUP. Redshirt freshman wide receiver Darren Massey caught two touchdown passes for 77 and 33 yards and returned a, bunt, a blocked punt for six points. On the defensive side of the ball, the, Fots, the Scots forced fought four turnovers and a blocked a punt. The win is one of the biggest victories in Coach Scott Browning's career and the team's first win over a ranked opponent since they beat West Liberty in 2011. The win brings the Fighting Scots record to 4-3 and three overall and 2-2 two and two in the PSAC West. The Fighting Scots host Slippery Rock on Saturday. The women's volleyball team traveled to Johnstown this past weekend to play, the second, to play in the second PSAC crossover tournament of the year. The Lady Scots took on Millersville and Lock Haven on Friday and Shippensburg and Pitt Johnstown on Saturday. The Scots' only win of the tournament came on Saturday to Pitt Johnstown 3-1 the Scots narrowly lost to Ship 2 to 3. Tabitha Meeks got her got her most kills of the season with 20 in the Scots game against Pitt Johnstown and her second most all time. The first two sets had a combined 28 ties and 11 lead changes. The Scots fourth set, the Fighting Scots never lost the lead and cruised a victory. Katie Felix finished with 43 assists, the eighth time this season she's had more than 40 assists. The Fighting Scots are now 15 and 6 overall and 9 and 4 in the PSAC and their next match is Tuesday at home against Point Park University. Soccer hosts Mercyhurst this past weekend, and the Lady Scots down the Lady Lakers 3-1. Even with the rainy conditions, the Fighting Scots got out to an early 1-0 lead with a goal from Becca Costello. Then, Liz Debo would net a goal of her own on an assist from number 9, Becca Costello. Liz Debo would score again on a breakaway in the second half, getting by the defender and the goalie to score again. 
The Scots would hold off the Lakers until three minutes left in the second half when Pern Karen scored an assist by Jamie Wong on a corner kick. Edinburgh has, four straight has, Edinburgh has won four straight contests against Mercyhurst and outscored the Lakers 11-1 in those defeats. And Debo paces the Fighting Scots with nine goals on the year, which helped her earn Edinburgh Athlete of the Week. Edinburgh improves to 10-3-1 overall and 8-3-1 in the PSAC. The Fighting Scots return to action on Tuesday as they travel to Cutstown. Finally, in Fighting Scots sports action, the men's and women's cross-country teams both travel to Cutstown this weekend to take on the PSAC in the PSAC championship meet. Tune in next week as we bring you more Fighting Scots sports action. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Tune in next week for more news. And feel free to email us with any story ideas you may have at edinburgh.tv at gmail.com or tweet us at borough television. Thanks for watching.